Yeah, if you've been a fan of AGT, then you're definitely no stranger to Masalito Pomoy. He shocked the entire world with his exceptional talent on stage back in 2019. He could sing both in a male and a female voice. But where is he now? And is he still singing? Watch this video to find out. Marcelito Pomoy did not have the easiest of childhoods. He was born in Imus Cavite on September 22nd of 1984 and was only seven years old when he became an orphan. His father was sent off to prison for a false accusation, whereas his mother abandoned him. Later on, he was adopted by a police officer and spent his teens working all kinds of odd jobs. It was while working on one of these jobs when he realized he had a natural talent for singing in different voices. You got that right. He was tending to the chickens when he found out. After this, he competed in a variety of competitions, including a Philippine reality talent show, but he unfortunately couldn't make it. Marcelito Pomoy at Philippines Got Talent He did not give up. He tried his luck again in the second season of Philippines Got Talent in 2011, and he successfully won the show at the age of 25. Not only did he own the whole show, but was able to fulfill his lifelong dream of seeing his family again. Ever since then, life has changed completely for Marcelito. Marcelito Pomoy at America's Got Talent His success in the Philippines opened many doors and opportunities towards him. He even got to be a guest along with his wife at the Ellen DeGeneres show. There, he sang two songs, The Prayer and the theme song of Beauty and the Beast. These performances earned him a lot of popularity and he was able to win his fans' hearts. After he had massive attention from millions of people, he finally mustered up the courage to audition for AGT in January 13th of 2020. He sang the prayer and completely blew away the judges. He qualified for the next round even though he did not get the golden buzzer. He went ahead to perform Beauty and the Beast again and managed to reach the semifinals and sang Kong de Partito. For the final round, he sang We Are the Champions from Queen and got fourth place in the overall competition, which is a big thing. He might not have won the show, but he definitely did win the hearts of millions. Where is he now? So where is Marcelito Pomoy now? Well, not only is he an exceptional talented singer, but also composed his own songs. He's currently a recording artist and currently has two albums. Split, which was released back in 2009, and Duet Yourself, which he released later in 2011. Marcelito Pomoy's singing career His singing career is going pretty well too. As of 2022, his career had some significant advancements and Marcelito was able to perform in different countries. In February of this year, he got to travel to the USA and had a whole month of performances in different states, including California, Seattle, New York City, Vegas, and San Francisco, among many others. Then from April onwards, he started another concert in the Philippines. He didn't stop there though. After that, he had several other tours in Canada and then in Australia. With all these successful concerts, this 37-year-old singer is certainly at the peak of his career and living the best years of his life. He plans on continuing his singing career as long as he can and will sing whenever he's given a chance. Plus, you wouldn't want to miss out on his upcoming performance at Niagara Falls Convention in Canada. Marcelito Pomoy's Personal Life Now that we told you all about Marcelito's career and performances, let's dive deeper in his personal life. Marcelito might not have had a proper family while he was growing up, but today, he has the most beautiful family of his own. He married the love of his life, Joan Pariso, on September 21st in 2014, and together they had two beautiful daughters, Marcella and Marquesa, who was only recently born. This adorable family of four happily resides in Kalog Kezong, living a very comfortable life, considering the fact that Marcelito currently has a net worth of more than $500,000. His primary source of income is singing but he's also the owner of a hardware shop in Kalog. Philanthropic Activities You'd be surprised to know that not only is he a talented music artist, but a great philanthropist as well. He chose to use his popularity to help out the community. Last year, when the COVID pandemic was at its peak, 
Marcelito took part in several charity events. He helped rebuild old people's houses and also helped deliver out food to needy families during the lockdown. One thing is for sure though, this talented singer is only just getting started. Click on any one of the two videos on your screen right now for more content. We'll see you guys in the next one.